Welcome into our studio, Bonnie Wallace and uh, Pastor Grady Rowe from the Highland Lakes United Methodist Church. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. You're here to tell us about a free health fair that is coming up at the church. We absolutely are. We cannot believe that so much time has passed since the last time we were here visiting you guys. Right. We've had a lot of developments and accomplishments at Highland Lakes United Methodist Church. Yeah, you just celebrated a a little milestone, didn't you? We did. We, We have a fantastic new fellowship hall and we invite everyone out to the health fair, the free health fair, to see our new hall and uh, listen to Pastor Grady Rowe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and, and Pastor, uh, uh, welcome into the studios. Glad you're here. Uh, uh, tell us about why people should go to this health fair. Well, church. first of all, I'm not preaching when she says hear from me. I'm just going to be wandering around and greeting people and visiting people. Okay. <laughs> but this has become uh, quite an event. Bonnie has done so much work on this, uh-huh. and uh, she's got got 33, 34 different vendors, wow. contributors coming, so there's going to be lots of resources. And part of the reason the church is doing this or is behind it is that um, we believe in community ministry. In fact, one of the reasons that building was put up in the first place, our brand new fellowship hall, one of the reasons that was put up in the first place is so the uh, events like this, right. we've already had an AA group had their New Year's Eve party there awesome. All right. with a band and everything, I understand. And we had the Cub Scouts have had their blue and gold banquet and there's been some other AA meetings. We had a huge feast after a funeral recently in which family members could come over and just visit and process and reminisce and tell stories to each other. A Young Life group had a big banquet there. So the the hall has already been used five or six times and it's just barely three, four months old. Wow, that's That's great. And now we're looking forward to this next event and Bonnie has done so much work. Well, I can imagine too having that there in Buchanan Dam. A lot of folks probably had to go into Burn It to be able to use a venue like that and now they can stay right at home in Buchanan. Yeah, we're looking forward to Bay coming out and doing a remote <laughs> broadcast from our location. How about that? Uh, the, the health fair is going to be, uh, is it this Saturday? Yes, Saturday? sir. This Saturday, May 9th, from 9 a.m. to noon. Uh-huh. Come early. We're expecting over 300 people. We have 34 exhibitors. They're doing glucose screenings, cholesterol, blood pressure. Dr. Ransdell's coming back to do skin cancer screening. Oh, Last great. year, there he diagnosed a woman with melanoma. Oh. That hurt us, actually, Grady and I, on your program last year. Oh, that's great. She heard it she came she had a concern about a spot on her face he diagnosed her right there at the health fair so wow. We, wow there's a great article in the pkn this morning so i hope oh. everybody gets to read it but uh there's a cardiologist dr sweat coming both hospitals will be represented um bernard eye care is bringing some glaucoma glasses so that sounds kind of cool we've got Kane orthodontics Arivac is bringing their helicopter yeah. again this year all right so there will be a blood drive in our parking lot lots of activity in the parking lot, but just come right on into the fellowship hall. Goodies for all the guests, the first 250. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be a big deal, and we're really looking forward to the uh, opportunity to minister to the health needs while Grady's walking around ministering yeah. to our. <laughs> you know, Bonnie had mentioned uh, doctors will be there. I heard about a doctor. Mm-hmm. Uh. Somebody called his office and said, Doctor, Doctor, I broke my arm in three places. What should I do? And the doctor said, I'd stay out of those places from now on. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Great. See, there's some free advice for you yeah, right there. And comedy on the show, too. <laughs> free health care is going on this Saturday from 9 till noon. Now, for the uh, blood bank that's going to be there holding a blood drive, uh, do they need to make reservations or can they just show up? They do not. They can just show up at the health fair. Lots of the exhibitors and lots of the congregation members have already signed up to give blood. Wonderful. We're gonna, last year we collected 18 pints which was uh, magnificent and all of that blood gets used in our own community Great. so I encourage everyone to donate blood. Absolutely. Now uh, the uh, time again 9 till noon is going to be there at the church at the Highland Lakes United Methodist Church. What is the address of the church? 8303 1431. 1431. We're right on Fuzzy's Corner beside the Sheriff's Department, the the Llano County Annex. So easy easy to find, beautiful church on the corner. All right, there you go. This (laughs) Saturday, put it on your calendar, everybody, and go out and uh, and get your checkups. We're still hoping K-Bay will be there. Well, we would like to start every day by playing K-Bay. Aw, you're too kind. Thank you for that. All right, going on this Saturday, again, free health uh, fair at the Highland Lakes United Methodist Church, 9 until noon. Body Wallace. Pastor Grady Rowe, good to see you. Thank you all for coming in and talking to us today. Enjoy your day.